Hi guys, in a previous video, I showed you how to make a line chart. Now I'm going to show you four different ways to format it so that it looks more professional, like this one, like this one, like this other one, or like this one. So if you like the video, don't forget to like and to subscribe at the end. Also, if you have any doubts, you can leave a comment in the section below. And don't forget that you can download the sample file in the description. So, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do for the first design is to select the chart. And I'm going to go up to the home menu. And I'm going to change the font to Sego UI because I think this is a professional looking font and I'm going to press enter. After this, I'm going to select my title and I'm going to make it bold. There we go. Now, the next thing that I want to do is to select the line and I'm going to right click on format data series and on the right pane, I'm going to click on the fill and line. And I'm going to look on the line section, the line section for the solid line. And I'm going to change the color to green. Okay. Now I want this line to be a little bit wider. So I'm going to click here on the width and I'm going to change it to four points. Now I want to have a marker in each of the points of the line. So still on the fill line option, I'm going to click on the marker and I'm going to click on marker options and I'm going to click on the built-in markers and I want to select on the type the second one. There we go. Now the marker is not very visible, so I'm going to change the size to size 9. Okay, and now it's more visible and I want to change the color of it because right now it's blue. So I want to click on the fill and I'm going to click on solid fill. I'm going to change the color to dark green. Now as a final step for the marker, I don't want the border that it has right now because it's blue. So I'm going to look on the border section. I'm going to click on no line. And there we go. Now two more steps before we're done with our first design. So on the chart design menu, I'm going to click on add chart element and I'm going to look for the grid lines. And as you can see, the primary major horizontal is selected. So I'm going to click to unselect it. And there we go. We don't have the grid lines anymore. Now, the final thing that I want to do is to select my data labels and I'm going to right click on format data labels. And I'm going to look in here on the label options, on the label position section, and I'm going to click on above so that the data labels are above the line. And after I've done this, I'm done with my first design. So the first thing that I want to do for my second design is to select it and I'm going to change the font up in the home menu and I'm going to type in here Arial because this is one of the most professional looking fonts and I'm going to type enter. Now I want to change the color of the line. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to right click on format data series. And this is going to open up the right pane. So I'm going to click here on the fill and line. And I'm going to change the color of the line to this orange one. Okay. And now I want to make the line a little bit wider. So I'm going to click in here on the width. I'm going to change it to four points. Okay. Now I want to give the line a different effect. So I'm going to look on the dash type and I'm going to click in here and I'm going to select the second option, the round dot. Now I want to change the marker of the line. So I'm going to click up here on marker. And I'm going to click on marker options. I'm going to click on built in. And I'm going to select on the type this triangle. 
Okay, so it's not very visible, so I'm going to change the size to size 8. And I want to change the color of the marker, so I'm going to click here on Fill. And I'm going to select in here for this gold accent 4, darker 25%. Okay. And on the border of the triangle, I don't want any line, so I'm going to click in here on no line. Okay. Now I want to remove the grid lines of the chart, so I'm going to show you a different way to do it. You can select this line over here or any line of the grid lines and you can press the delete button. There we go. Now I want to show my data points below the chart on a table. So I'm going to go up to the chart design menu and I'm going to click on add chart element. I'm going to look for the data table and I'm going to choose the third option, no legend keys. So now I have the data below the chart, but it is not very visible. So one thing that I can do is to change the format of the date. So I'm going to select the date and I'm going to go up to the home menu. I'm going to click in here on the number. I'm going to click on more number formats. And on this pop-up window, I'm going to select this date format. I'm going to click OK. Okay, so now my data table is more visible now. So now, since I have the information of the chart right below it, I don't need this axis, so I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna press the delete button. Okay, and the same thing with my data labels. So I'm gonna select them and I'm gonna press delete. So now in this design, we don't have the data labels or the x-axis because we have the data table right below the chart. So this table will help us to determine the point that is represented on the line. So now we're done with our second design. So now for our third design, the first thing that we're going to do is to select our chart and I'm going to go up to the chart design menu and on the chart styles section, I'm going to look for the style number 10, which is this one right here. So I'm going to select it. And now I'm going to change the color of the chart. So still on the chart design menu, I'm going to click here on the change colors. And I'm going to select the monochromatic style number 4. And there we go. Now I want to go up to the home menu and I'm going to change the font of the chart to this Verdana font, which is one of the most professional looking fonts. And there we go. So now to make the line a little bit more visible, I'm going to click it and I'm going to right click on format data series. I'm going to look on the fill and line and on the line section, I'm going to look for the width option and I'm going to change it to 2.5. Okay. Now I'm going to change the compound type and I'm going to look in here for the thick thing, which will give a different look to the line. So I'm going to select it and there we go. So now the line has a neon style. Okay. Now the next thing that I want to do is to change the marker of the line. So I'm going to click up here on marker. And on marker options, I'm going to click on built in. And this time I'm going to pick the X and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Now I want to change the fill of this to no fill so that it is transparent. And I'm going to change the border color to white. So let's check out how it looks. So now it looks pretty neat. Now I'm going to delete the grid lines so I can select my chart and I can go up to the chart design menu and I'm going to click on add chart element. I'm going to look for the grid lines and I'm going to uncheck the primary major horizontal. Okay, there we go. And now as a final step, I'm going to select my data labels and I'm going to right click on format data labels. And I'm going to look on the label options 
for the label position section and I'm going to click on above. And there we go. So after I'm done with that, we're done with our third design. Now for our final design, the first thing that I'm going to do is to select my chart and I'm going to click on chart design menu and I'm going to look for the style number two and I'm going to select it. So now the chart has a different look. I'm going to look for the add chart element button and I'm going to click on the grid lines and I want to remove them. So I'm going to click here on primary major horizontal. There we go. So now I'm going to change the colors of this chart. So I'm going to click in here on change colors. And on the colorful palette, I'm going to pick the style number three. Okay. Now I'm going to go up to the home menu and I'm going to change the font of this chart. So on the font section, I'm going to click in here and I'm going to type the century gothic font. Okay. So now still with my chart selected, I'm going to go to the right pane on format chart area and I'm going to click on the fill and line option and I'm going to look for the gradient fill and I'm going to click it. So now we're going to change the background of the chart. So I'm going to look in here on the type and I'm going to click on radial. I'm going to change the direction. I'm going to pick this one from the center. Okay. And now on the gradient stops, I can pick as many colors as I want. In this case, we're only going to be using three colors. So I'm going to select one of these stops and I'm going to press the delete button because we're only going to be using three. Okay. So now I'm going to move the first one to the beginning and I'm going to change its color to white. Okay, I'm going to change the second one so that it is at a 50%. Okay, and I'm going to change it to blue. Okay, and I'm going to select the last one and I'm going to change the color to dark blue. So now it's starting to look a little bit more decent. So still with my whole chart selected, I'm going to change the font color up here and I'm going to change it to yellow. All right. Now I'm going to select my data labels and I'm going to right click on format data labels. And on the label options section on the label position, I'm going to change them to above. Okay. But now the labels are not very visible. So first I'm going to change the size of them. I'm going to change it to size 11 up here. Okay, they are a little bit more visible now. But because of the colors, it's not very visible, especially on this area right here. So I'm going to go still on my right pane on the format data labels. I'm going to click here on text options. And I'm going to click in here for the text effects. I'm going to change the presets to this offset center. And I'm going to change the transparency to zero. So now our data labels are more visible and we're done with our fourth design. All right, guys, I hope that video was useful. If it was, please don't forget to leave a comment, to like and to subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything and you'll be motivating me to upload more tutorials for you. Also, don't forget that you can download the sample file in the description below. So, thanks again and see you next time!